Guilford County Schools hopes to spark student interest in a firefighting career. GCS partnered with Guilford Technical Community College to launch a high school cadet fire program this fall. Joel Davis is the director of the Fire Protection Technology Program at GTCC. He says the program will help curb the increasing shortage of emergency service responders in Guilford County. They'll learn the skills that are necessary to become a firefighter, whether it's you know, climbing ladders, throwing ladders, uh, dragging hose. They will do a little bit of medical care, learn how to tie the appropriate ropes and knots, uh, ventilation skills, forcible entry skills. The high school cadet program is open to any rising senior at Southern, Ragsdale, Southeast, or Andrews High Schools. Students will receive credit for 540 contact hours when they complete the program. Once they finish, students will have one 40-hour class remaining to obtain an accredited firefighter certification. We know college isn't for everybody, and this just gives them a, another avenue uh, to pursue a, a very rewarding and beneficial career. Last month, I sat down with GCS Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley to discuss the district's strategic direction for the upcoming school year. She said finding ways to create a talent pipeline to prepare students for the workforce is a major part of that plan. We want to know in fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, what students, what their pathways could be, what careers they could go into. So when businesses and school districts work together, we can create high wage, high demand, jobs um, and have the students ready to fill them immediately. There is no cost for the cadet fire program. Davis tells me depending on the size of the department, starting salaries for firefighters can be anywhere from $35,000 to $55,000. And that's a lot of money, especially coming straight out of high school. Mm -hmm. And then think about the benefits as well. Um, I have a few friends who are firemen or fire women, and they went to college or they did other jobs until they realized, hey, this is something that I want to do. Just think about all the money and some of the time they could have saved had they known early on. I like how um, this, the schools are trying to fill positions um, in a creative way. We just did a story last night at 11 on how Alamance Burlington Schools is has a teacher cadet program yeah. where they're taking high school seniors and putting them through a, a basically a pipeline that mm -hmm. takes them from student to teacher. So yeah. they're getting creative with just trying to fill some of these roles that can be kind of difficult. Absolutely, and I like how she said, you know, young people want to know fourth grade, fifth grade, waiting till high school might be a little too late. So having a program in place like this now, you know, think about our younger students. This is something they can aspire to do. So I think the district is really doing some good work here when it comes to that strategic plan and developing our workforce. Absolutely. And if you're an adult and you want to take part in something that maybe will help your civic duty responsibilities, the City of Greensboro is accepting applications for its City Academy. It's designed to help people understand how the city works and be better engaged in it. Anyone who lives in Greensboro can join for free. Check the city's website for an application due by July 1st.